Hey, what's going on everybody? I am Desiree Lee, best-selling author, public speaker, and philanthropist. Guess what guys? I travel nationwide, sharing my story in hopes of preventing teen incarcerations, encouraging those who might feel like they're in a dark place, and to show people that nothing is impossible. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon, this early evening here in the state of Georgia. Um, if you're an aspiring author, a beginner, or a pro, then this is definitely the scope for you. Why do I say that? Because I share tips, hacks, and ideas uh, with you guys and teach you how to increase your income and also how to increase your visibility online. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's good to see you, DJ. What's up, B2? Good to see you. Uh, oh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Simon. You guys are my friends. I have some mascara here going on and something is totally off with my makeup today. Wow, something is totally off. Yeah, I've been running errands, Fuller. Definitely running errands. Thank you so much for that. Hey, what's up? So, okay, so let's have a Q&A. You know, how long, my question to you, you guys always ask me questions, okay? So, um... No, you didn't upset me. I just wasn't going to allow you to take my energy. I like to give it. I don't like people taking it. I like to give it, you know? So, no, you did not upset me. Um, upset me. Um, so, you guys always ask me questions. I want to ask you some. You guys are still asking me questions, and I want to ask you a question. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Uh, lenses. I don't have lenses, so I don't know what you're talking about with that. Um, yeah, so my question is, how long have you been sitting on your book? And the following question after that is, don't you think it's time um, for you to publish your book? Those are the questions. So the first one is, how long have you been sitting on your book? Thank you so much, Fuller. <laughs> I see it coming in. And guess what? Thank you so much for the hearts. You know, we are close to 1 million hearts. Can you believe it? Yes, oh my gosh, for so many years you've been sitting on your book. And yes, it's time for you to publish your book. Conscious three years? For a few years? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the next question. What is holding you back? No, why why have you been sitting on it? Why have you been sitting on your book for that long? That's the question. For some people it seems easy. Um, some people, the, the how is the easiest part. But I want to know, why have you been sitting on your book for that long? It will piss some people off, and it's a tough decision. Not if you change the names of the characters. Need an illustrator I wish to work with. Um, what kind of illustrator? Because the thing about it is, is you can draw your own pictures and just scan it and publish your book. And or uh, a, a tip for you, my friend. What is your name? Oh, you're giving me a ring. That's nice. <laughs> giving me a scope ring a peri ring beach scenery okay what's your name Ficono. what's your name because i'm about to give you a hack on how to get your illustration frank because frank you got to get that book out man my kid needs to read that book okay so frank this is where you're going to go to get your illustrations you're going to go to uh <laughs> publish everything <laughs> yes i know oh my gosh jc i love your personality oh my gosh i so love you i'm like so in love with you man your personality is awesome awesome so frank this is where you're going to get your uh your uh illustrations you're gonna go to fiverr.com f-i-v-e-r-r.com you're going to go to Fiverr.com and you're going to pay someone $5 to create your illustration. $5. I know of a father and a son who created a children's book series. And on each book, they spent like at the most $30. Yes. Okay. Well, you need to use it. Oh, JC. I thought you were Frank. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. Yes. I use it a lot too. Fiverr is awesome. Yes. I looked into that. Uh, again, yes, definitely again. And it's not again. It's not I have to look into it again. Your word should be I have to look into it now. Okay, now you've been sitting on that children's book for too long. Okay, so who else has been sitting on their book? JC, do you have a book out? JC? 
I used I have used it for other good stuff good advice too okay cool one time one shot that's the deal but you know what JC you know what sometimes it can get really frustrating man it can get really frustrating I gotta call you man starting it now that's what I'm talking about now is the new later you guys need to retweet that now is definitely the new later yes <laughs> starting it now in ow laugh out loud i like that yeah make sure you retweet it though make sure you put at d lee inspires by the way <laughs> so i can give you a shout out Mine is based on religion, but I'm thinking to make it more mytholo mythological so it's less offensive. What are you doing? I'm talking. Now is the new... Now. No, now is the new later. Oh, now is the new now. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I will hook you, hook up with you on Twitter. Yeah, definitely. Hook up with me on Twitter. I love my Twitter friends. And if you're new to my scope, just know this. I don't call you guys followers. You are my friends. Okay. You want greatness? It's going to cost you. Put in the work. The time will pass anyway. Make it count. But see, when you put in the work, what we what if we don't know what work to put in, JC? What if we don't know what work to put in? What about that? It's like, you know, people, I'm speaking for everybody on my scope. And I was once in that part, in that dark place. I have the answer. Okay, I'm going to listen. Because what if you don't know the work to put in? And even in the midst of your success, sometimes, JC, it's like, you know your gift. You know the value of it. You've been working hard consistently. You've seen progress. But it seems like you're kind of stuck. But not necessarily stuck. But it's like, are you working in the wrong area? And some people are like, well, you just need to believe. Well, what do I need to believe in? You know, some people, you need to work harder. Well, what do I need to work on? What what work do I need to put in? Is it the cashier? Is it the bagger? Is it the stalker? What? Yes, yes. And it's kind of hard when people say, go in your direction. Write it out. Tunnel vision. Ignore naysayers. Work hard. Give back. I love it. Dan, I need to, I need to screenshot it. Ah! Dang it. I missed it. Find your passion. Work from there. But how do you know, how do you know what passion, what is passion? What is passion? You know, like, I'm, I'm just asking questions like, you know, because at one time it was very hard for me to believe outside of what was around me. And for some people who got it or it clicked, the aha clicked, it's, it was like somebody had to believe in me before I had to believe in myself. And some people say, you need to believe in yourself before other people believe in you. But I think it was kind of different for me. Gun, it's your emotions. If you're happy, you're going the right way. Okay, so what if you're upset? Is that the wrong way? Dryer Buzz! What's up, Yolanda? JC, you got to connect with Dryer Buzz. Dryer Buzz, you got to connect with JC. I just met JC today on the scope. I so love him. I so love JC. That's my new, that's one of my other Perry Boos. Yeah, I have like two Perry Boos. No, three. Frank Salas, now JC, and oh man, who's my, oh, Arvin, Arvin Paul. Yeah, those are my Perry Boos. Yeah. We're just sitting here talking Q and A um, about books. You know, how long have you been sitting on that book? And um, yes, okay, okay. So everybody follow JC. He's gonna give us some answers. That's awesome. I like spontaneous scopes. And thanks, Yolanda, for inviting your friends and followers. Yeah, for real. Because it's like you know, I'm back. Yeah, I finally got the phone back. I dropped it in water, so I'm back on scope. Back in action. Yes, I am. Yeah. So my question is, you guys always ask me questions. So my question to you is, how long have you been sitting on your book? Okay. And don't you think it's time for you to publish it? And some people say they've been sitting on their book for three years, years at a time. And I'm like, okay, well, oh, no problem. You got a lot of followers. That's cool. 
<laughs> That's cool. A long time domestic violence issue. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something about that. Oftentimes we go through things to prevent others from going in, encourage those who might be in it, and to show people that nothing is impossible. You know, there is definitely power in our experiences. And the things that I experienced, I share with you guys. You know, this is my new platform to share my experience with you freely, spontaneously, and, you know, help you through what you're going through and we can help each other. And someone just said that, yes, everyone type this. Okay, type what? I am limitless. Okay, you know what? I can't type it, so I'm going to say it. I am limitless. JC, you are definitely taking over the scope, the Dealey scope. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was the memoir from last night. Well, you definitely have to write that book. I promise you. I'm serious. Just saw your title. It's been two years. Two years? Girl, what are you waiting for? Oh, no, don't apologize. This is a friendly zone. My husband, Faith Face, Blaze. Oh, man. You guys got to write tinier because the paragraphs go too fast. Uh, somebody said two years. Well, this is what I say. Someone is literally depending on you to finish. How about that? And this is the thing. This is my whole point of this. When I was in my dark place, this lady believed in me when I couldn't believe in myself. And in this dark place, I wanted to commit suicide. I felt as though I had no more options. I tried every damn thing. I prayed every prayer. I asked every question that I can think of in that state of mind. And going through that, going through that back over and over and over again for six long years, it was defeating. And the people around me didn't understand and it wasn't adding value to the thoughts that I was having. So following that, when she told me, you know what, you're beautiful, you can do it. I believe in you. And she had me mustard seeds, guys. And I'm like, I don't need no damn, I don't need no mustard seeds. You know what I mean? And with that, and thank you for inviting your followers. You know, I need some money. I need a job. I need a resource. This is what I need. And so she taught me how to uh, speak those things that be not as though they were. Yes, absolutely. And so she gave me affirmations. And I'm like, you know what? I done tried everything else. I'm going to try this one more time before I call it quits, before I kill myself, before I just gave up. Because I really, I gave up. You know how some people say, don't give up? Well, in that moment, I gave up. I gave up, guys. Okay? So I've been there. I've been there. Okay? So then in this moment, 30 days later, the door started to open up for me. What happened? What happened was, is that every time I said this positive affirmation every single morning, my perception started to change. What I saw started to change and I started to believe in what she was believing in me. Therefore, I started seeing myself the way she saw me and then I started believing it. Now, I went back to her and I said, you know what? Thank you for pouring in me, man. Thank you for pouring in a sister. You know, you're, you're a stranger. You didn't know me from Adam and Eve. And you just gave me, you know, mustard seeds. But yet you said hello. And I encourage you to say hello to the person next to you because you never know what that person may be going through. Yes, I'm telling you. And people will say affirmation, affirmation, and all that. And believing is a very difficult thing to do, JC. But I went ahead. I was desperate. So I tried it and it worked. So then I said, you know, I went back to her and everything. And she was like, let me tell you something, Desiree. I was going through a really bad divorce. I didn't see no way out. And some stranger, some lady by the name of Dama came to me and told me the same thing I told you and gave me those same mustard seeds. And I said, OMG, are you serious? Wow. No, not you. She said, yeah, because my past pain looked like your pain. And so therefore I, really, I saw myself in you. I said, oh my gosh, wow. And this is what I said because I was in such awe that not only was she going through that, but where she is right now. And so when I went to her, I said, you know what? Thank you for not giving up while you were going through. Because I, I looked beyond what she was saying to me about her dark place. She had choices in the midst of going through. One of those choices was to give up. Another choice was to procrastinate. Another choice was to sit on her story, sit on her pain for 20 years, to sit on that book for two years, to sit on that book for three years, seven years, and the list goes on, okay? And so in the midst of all that, hey, what's up, Dino? 
In the midst of all that, she chose to keep going. But what she did not know was the stranger, the stranger that she met in the nail salon, the stranger that was going to commit suicide, the life, the soul, the spirit that was literally depending on her to make it through. Now, if she did it, she would have procrastinated what I got my mustard seed. Would she be able to pour into me freely? Would she be able to give selflessly? Would she be able to love me wholly without even knowing me a stranger? I don't know. So this is what I say to you guys. And as I'm talking to you, I'm ministering to myself as well. Regardless of how tough it gets, Desiree. Regardless of how tough it gets, Frank. Regardless of how tough it gets, JC, I don't care what it is that you might be facing, but you cannot give up while you're going through because there is someone's life literally depending on your faith. Now, what if because you procrastinated that lady, that son, that kid, that daughter, you know what I mean? That young person. Um, I don't care what it is you're going through, Michael, okay? Because what if they're waiting at this time, at this part that you guys are supposed to meet at the corner of the street, and you were supposed to walk them across the street, but you were too blind and too, not I don't want to say lazy, but procrastinating and too fearful of and too shameful of what people may think or what people may say, but yet a life is depending on you. You don't care. I mean, if somebody was to take my child or if somebody was about to hurt or harm my child, I don't care what I look like how my makeup look, how my face look. I don't care what people may think of me, but I'm going to go and fight and go get my child, okay? It's the same thing. Your book, your story, your power, that's the same thing as your baby. So you're going to have to fight through all of that noise, like JC said, and you're going to have to fight through the naysayers and this, that, and the other, because bottom line, you are limitless. And the thing about it is, is when we change our perception, the world, everything that you see is, is not even real. It's made up with the thoughts in our mind because somebody else put that belief system on us. I'm not talking about belief system religion. I'm talking about belief system just in general. I believe that this color lipstick is red because everybody told me that it was red. And when I told my mom that this color was orange, she enforced and my teachers reinforced that it was red. In each grade, they kept saying that this color was red. But who said who made up that name? Who made up the name and gave it the definition? a person okay so who who's to say that the, what they said was true so it's like what is good what is bad what is crazy what is sane what is normal what if all the crazy people or if you want to say mental health are really sane and we're the ones that are crazy i mean like who said that what if really up it was really down and what if down was really up so it's all figments and imaginations and our thoughts and so that's what the words that the affirmations like reinvented my belief system the way i look at things so what i'm saying to you is that somebody is depending on you a stranger and when you know that a life out there if you or if you're you know, look at others, human eyes, and, and you believe in other people and humanity and philanthropy and just want everybody to win and different things like that, you know? Yeah, absolutely, you know? So it's like, you know, um, if you believe in that, then you will fight for that person, your neighbor, your brother, your sister, that person up the street, that young man, because you were once a young man and wish somebody came to you and told you the right way. So somebody's depending on you to keep going and somebody's depending on you to get that book out. So my question next for you is for you guys, because you guys ask me a lot of questions. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I write a blog called The Creative Spotlight and might like to interview you about your story. Oh, Frank, I would love that, Frank. Can you please tweet me? Yes, can you please tweet me? You started this morning. High five to that. Yes, you definitely need to get your book out. I'm serious. I'm so super serious. I think about it. I think about it all the time. Okay, you follow me on Twitter? Okay, cool. I'm going to follow you back. Yeah, I think about it all the time, you know? Really? Ah, uh, yes, that is cool. That is so super cool. Sue, oh my gosh, my Perry friends are coming in. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, hon. Okay, cool. That's no doubt. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. No problem at all. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll see you later. Ciao. Thank you, Andre. Yes. Thank you. So if you guys don't have any more questions to me, and, and just FYI, I will be at the Scope and Mingle here in Atlanta, Georgia, December 5th. And if you guys want more information about that event, make sure you go to somethingbig.eventbrite.com and make sure you come out and check me out. Yes, I finally did my scope. That is so cool. How was your experience, my friend? How was your experience? Oh, cool, Frank. I hope you're coming December. December. Yeah, it's like pretty cool. I'm telling Andre in a minute, you're going to be addicted. Because it's just like, you know, the be able to touch, you know, and talk. So let me know. Let me know. You know, what is it that um, is holding you back? Where in ATL are you located? Usually go to the Cancun area. Well, I'm like closer to Stone Mountain area. So I guess you would say it's the east side. I think Cancun is like closer to Marietta. I hope you get when the bell rings on iTunes tonight. I know. I know, I know, I know. Fingers crossed. Has some cool people. Wow, cool. Cool deal. Yeah, it is lots of fun. It definitely is. I like that too. Well, I appreciate you guys coming in to the scope and hanging out with me. You already know I'm coming back later on this evening. Um, so on the top of the news at the top of the hour, you guys are uh, tuning in to the D. Lee Scope here with Desiree Lee, best-selling author, public speaker, and philanthropist. And in my scopes, I give out all the hacks, tips, and ideas for beginners, pros, and aspiring authors. I share with you on how to increase your income and also how to increase your visibility online. Oh, Dino, you should have tweeted me. You definitely should have tweeted me. And I appreciate the hearts and the love that's coming in. You guys are really like pouring it up. And we are really close to a million hearts. But just remember, okay, cool. Just remember that the hearts only count for 500. So if you reach 500, make sure you go out and come back in. And do me a favor. Um, once you guys go ahead and invite your friends and followers, maybe they have questions too as well. Yeah. Thanks, Pamela. You're cool. <laughs> so super cool yeah so oh awesome too you know what um one of my clients um ask frank frank said he has a blog okay but i know you can definitely use tumblr and also blog spot post but it's always good to do um oh you can do wordpress too yeah frank he can definitely help there's frank right there so um what? I forgot that. How do you know when you hit 500? You're going to click that Perry buddy right there. You're going to scroll up. You're going to see your name. And under it, it's going to tell you how many hearts you gave. So let me see. Let me give a quick shout out. Let me see. Um, Miss T is at 1,700 hearts. Pamela, she's giving me a few hearts. Also, no, Tiff. What's up, Tiff? Dino has poured out the hearts too as well. Andre, you are now at 72 hearts. Ty is at one. So it's registering your hearts, but I don't know why. It's like kind of registering and not registering. I don't know. But we're going to get to a million. I know that. And it's definitely going to be a celebration on that too as well. How about that? How about it? How about it? <laughs> yes. You guys are awesome. 
Well, I guess that's it, you know. Um, I definitely have some more hacks and stuff to give you guys later on today. I know um, one of our scopers asked me, how in the world do you get a publishing deal? I know Amazon.com is offering one to those who want to submit their books before actually publishing their book. Um, so I know they're offering one too as well. What's up? What's up, Tiff? I see you, girl. I see ya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to share that tomorrow. Well, tonight or either tomorrow. I don't know. It all depends. It definitely depends. But I miss you. I really do. You guys rock. <laughs> yeah. So that's about it. I can't wait to show you guys my website. It's in production right now. I have one question. How long did it take you to write your first book? You know what? That's a question I always get. And it's the most exciting question to answer. Um, it roughly took me, I would estimate it to be two months. However, for the actual writing, editing, producing a cover front and back, also uh, getting into production and printing it and having a book signing it took three months so i started january of 2014 to march 22nd is when i had my book signing my first book signing ever so it wasn't just writing the book and publishing it it was also marketing and advertising and everything else in between time for my first book signing are you serious? 11 years? Well, you probably wanted some more details, you know. Everybody is different, but my story, that experience, I didn't have to wait to get that out. I just produced it. Um, people would think that it would take a very, very long time, but it really doesn't because we get stuck on how we're going to write it. Is it going to be right? How is it going to look? Is it going to be good? What chapters? We focus on the wrong thing first, and what we need to focus more on is the focus more on is the content and not what's the name of the chapters okay okay so the guy the gentleman that asked who asked to do a raw um, a blog make sure you guys are following Frank on Twitter because he definitely shares see we got other people sharing hacks absolutely it does but see you want to excuse me you want to get it out of you you want to cry when you write i cry when i write and so when somebody else reads it they they read the emotion they feel the pain they feel the triumph they feel the blood sweat and tears and that's because i wrote it from that place and that's when you have to write it from that place too in order to be relatable to your um to your audience absolutely Dino says hacks yes I do author hacks and I have other friends that do all kinds of different hacks too as well Arvin Poole he does periscope hacks my friend Jason Hodge the Jason Hodge he does media hacks and now my friend Frank he does blog hacks he's hacking it up he is definitely sharing some secrets yes oh it's good to see you too Sherry it's good to see you too yep so that's what it is. That's You want to get that emotion out. You want to uh, relay that to your audience. And you want them to be able to relate to it too as well. Yeah. Oh, Sherry. And you need to start... Um, you need to start scoping too. Because I need to follow you, hon. Thank you. Aren't hacks bad? No. What is bad and what is good? What is hack? Hack is like chipping at something to try to get in. So it's kind of like you're chipping at the coal to get to the diamond. Well, it depends on what you're hacking. It depends on what you're hacking. Now, if you guys are, I'm allowing you to hack into me, but the crazy part of it is I'm just giving it to you without you have to try to pull it from me. You know what I mean? Or trying to hack in my stuff. But it all depends what is hacking, you know? Um... It's like, you know, being a convicted felon, it seems to me that being a convicted felon is considered a very, very bad thing, right? But yet, I'm a convicted felon, and yet I have a huge audience 
who admires and respects what I say. Um, they do the hacks that I share with them too as well. And they come to my events all the time and they pay me for my services. You know, so it all depends on how you look at it and how you perceive it. Um, but no, hacking is not bad. It's just that people are saying it's bad. It's like, you know, some people think black is bad, you know? And we can go down the list. I don't even want to go down that route. But I'm just saying, what is bad? What is good? Are you, you are a felon, huh? A co well, convicted felon. A former felon, let's say that. Yes, I spent four years in prison. And thank you for the hearts. Yeah, in my book, I definitely share more of my experience. My book is titled Inmate 114-2980, The Desiree Lee Story. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to see you guys later. You know, I always come into these scopes, and I'm going to see you guys later this evening. Um, if not tomorrow, um, and I'm definitely going to share some stuff. So what I want you to do, yes, returning citizen. I like that, Fuller. I like that. I like that. I like that. What I want you guys to do, can you do me a favor right now? Put yes if you can do me a huge favor. Hey, what's going on? Hello to you. Type in yes if you can do me a favor. Okay, so this is the favor I need. Okay, Sherry, this is the favor I need. I need you guys to either tweet me on Twitter, okay? Send me a tweet um, and tell me what hacks you want to know from me. Let me know what questions. Give me your questions. I need to know. Send me a tweet. Um, it's at Dealey Aspires. It's the same as my handle here on Periscope. You can also DM me um, if we're friends and following each other on Twitter too as well. But send me a tweet because I want to make sure that as I'm doing my scopes, as I share with you guys my secrets and my hacks, as I'm starting to um, develop a more systematic way I want to make sure that I'm not going further past of where you guys are at right now. And I really want to tell you guys the hacks of where you're at right now in order to catapult you towards your success. So I need, I want to be, um, I can do it here. Can we do lunch? Oh, thanks for the invite. So I want you to definitely um, send me a tweet with your questions on Twitter. Okay, so then that way I can sit down with my team to make sure that I'm answering your questions and we're able to build our author hack community too as well. Okay, so yeah, just send me your questions. Uh, let me know what it is that you're looking for. Uh, let me know where, where are you guys at? Where are you at on self-publishing? Have you even self-published? Have you even signed up to an account? Um, do, what are your questions? Is it royalties? Is it payments? Is it copywriting? Is it how do you, in a world, do you create your cover on your own? Is it graphic design? Is it branding? Is it marketing? Um, is it where is the best way to do, you know, your advertisement? You know, send me those questions and I need those questions consistently, okay? Definitely consistently because I am working for you, okay? I'm definitely working for you. And so um, that's what it is. You guys pay me, you guys hire me, you know what I mean? And so that's what I want. I wanna make sure that I answer your questions. I wanna make sure that we get results. I'm result driven. I don't like to just talk about something or tell you something and it's not working for you. I've been there. I pay for the seminars, I pay for the workshops, I pay for everything, okay? When I was going through that dark place for six years, I try to get a job, I try to do all that stuff, and nothing was working for me. People told me this, told me that, and it wasn't working. So I am like so much trying to make sure that we are executing correctly and that you guys are getting results because when you succeed i succeed when you win i win okay and what is your success do you need a strategy do you even have a author business plan do we need to talk about that um or what the things that we need you know um what is it that you know it's like so many different angles 
to this whole self-publishing market and dominate? Is it more of audiobooks? Do you want to know how to do audiobooks? Do you want to know how to do um, Kindle? What's the difference between bestseller on Amazon and best New York Times? That was one of our questions earlier today. You know, um, what does it really take? How much money do you need? You know, do you need a one-on-one? -on -one? Do we need to start talking about discovery sessions? Do we need to have like a mini discovery session here on the scope with everybody um, consecutively? Would you like to do a webinar? Should I do a conference call in a few days? Because I can do a conference call where I can answer all of these questions. You know what I mean? Um, just let me know and just send me a tweet let me know and let's get this thing going. Let's get this thing going. Let's stop playing around here on the scope and make this thing going. Okay, yeah, absolutely, Frank. I'm definitely following you after the scope. And thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Okay, yes, absolutely, Fuller, absolutely, okay? And so um, I'll see you guys in a few, okay? Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a wonderful, safe day, and I hope you had a great start to a wonderful week. And what I say always to all of my Perry friends, it's never too late to become what you could have been and just do the best you can with what you have.